reason why we're doing this today, we've talked about Club Random a couple of times on this show. Yes. Actually, it's one of my favorite shows to cover because I like Bill Maher and he's got a TV show. He's had a TV show for most of my life and he's very professional. He's a great host. And then he does the show at his house where he just gets drunk and high and it gets ridiculous sometimes. Yeah. And so he had on the guest Haley Welch. No. Who is Haley Welch? Great question, producer Chris. Just like we rehearsed. Haley Welch <laughs> is the Hawk Tua girl. The very, very famous Hawk Tua girl. And she's been making the rounds. I think she was on Whitney Cummings podcast in this past week. This is from two days ago. And uh, Bill Maher comes in and introduces himself. Oh, hey, how you doing? And this is so bizarre to me because Bill Maher thinks that for some reason he knows how a viral moment can become a career, which makes no sense. Like Bill Maher was a comic going back to the late 70s. You know, it wasn't professional back then, but he started in the late 70s, early 80s, and then he turned his comedy into a career on television. Very different than a drunk girl in Nashville talking about spitting on dicks. But whatever, Bill thinks he understands how <laughs> yeah. this works for some reason. Something extraordinary happened to you, and you have an extraordinary opportunity. And if you pay close attention today, you'll come out here really with a lot of knowledge of how to handle this, because it's very unique what happened to you. I, it's crazy that he starts the show saying, if you pay attention, mm -hmm. you'll gain a lot of knowledge I'm about to drop the knowledge on you, so take out your notepad. It's a weird way to start a show. I'm going to teach you everything you need to know. And the entire show is like this, mm -hmm. where it's like, you're a young, dumb idiot, and I'm a really intelligent guy who knows everything, so I'm going to teach you how to live your life. And it's weird because I think Bill, he didn't prepare for this interview very much. I think he thought that he could just wing it because he's got a couple of years on this girl as far as being in show business. And, <laughs> and every other reason. Right. And I don't know if Bill's okay. Like, he seems too high. So mm. this is why you should be listening very closely today. Because mm -hmm. you're going to get a lot of good advice on okay. that. I have a feeling. I don't know. I never know what I'm going to say because I'm always high when I do this. I understand. I mean, you're 21, right? We can we can speak freely. This Fair. You know, And it's legal. Yeah. We're not doing anything wrong. <laughs> exactly right. Um, I would, of course, advise always using any sort of substance responsibly and in moderation. Do you do that? Yeah, I'm pretty responsible with it. Okay. <laughs> I got a couple thoughts here. Is he trying to get her drunk to fuck her? Like, what was that whole thing? Like, this is legal, what we're doing, right? Everyone's cool with this? It was so apparent that he was making that yeah, statement for a reason. It's awkward that he would say that. We're going to probably do drugs and drink but this is all legal right in his You're defense cool she does look a lot younger here than she did in the original video she's 21 years old she looks very young yeah to guys like us she looks very very young um now i gotta remember what she said at the end there that i wanted to comment on um i would of course advise always using any sort of substance <laughs> responsibly and in moderation do you do yeah, that's what I wanted to talk about. Do you do that? The reason why we know who she is is because she was wasted on the streets of Nashville talking about spitting on penises. And he's like, well, I hope you don't uh, overdo it ever. <laughs> no, I Definitely suck not. one dick at a time. <laughs> Definitely not. <laughs> so stupid. All right. So the first thing we have to do here as we start off this interview. So here's the first thing. Now that I think about it, <laughs> that we have to do. Mm -hmm. um, what made you uh, suddenly famous, nothing to be ashamed of. But now we have to move past that. I agree. Haley. What's your last name? Wilt. I knew that. I was testing you. It's okay. I had to sound out your last name early. <laughs> That's, I don't expect you to know me. Most of the country does, bitch, but no, I'm kidding. <laughs> All right. So this is like really awkward. The way that Bill starts this whole show, they do get into a rhythm at some point. But at the beginning, I'm like, oh, my God, are you too high to do this right now? This is weird. And that's saying something for Bill. Right. I mean, they usually go awkward in one way or another, but this is uh, supreme awkwardness. Yeah, because 
Look, she doesn't come across as nervous. Good on her. Yeah. She's pretty comfortable there. Mm-hmm. She's not fidgeting or anything. She's just sitting there, like, talking to him. She's kind of an idiot. But I like that. <laughs> I'm, okay, I'm okay with that. <laughs> yeah, whatever. What were you expecting? <laughs> right. He doesn't know her name. By the way, the title card, I didn't pull this clip because it's not that important, but the title card, they spell her name incorrectly. <laughs> I didn't even catch that. Her name is weird. So her name's Haley. It's H A L I E Y. And they spell it without the I. Some people put the I before the L, which is common. I found an Instagram account that has 500,000 followers. That's a fake Haley Welch that just puts the I before the L. (laughs) I saw one that said Haley Tua. Yeah, right. That's also her name, apparently. So we were both researching Instagram accounts. Good to know. Good to know. So... He goes, I don't, I don't know your last name. She goes, yeah, I don't, I don't know your last name. You probably either. should have researched this. <laughs> yeah. And what's funny is later on in the conversation, much later on, Bill's talking about where she's from in Tennessee. And uh, she goes, well, you know, I'm a, I'm a redneck, obviously. <laughs> you can tell. Have you ever met a redneck before, Bill? This is a funny answer in response. I, you I'm ever not... met any hillbillies besides me? Uh, Woody Harrelson. Who's that? Who's that? Oh, that makes me feel better. You don't know Woody Harrelson. No, I don't. By the way, I just used hillbilly and redneck interchangeably. Is that okay? Uh, is Jody B going to get me? canceled? <laughs> I hope Jody B's not mad at me. If the South that. ever rises, <laughs> we're fucked. I don't know which side I'm on, but hopefully <laughs> both will have me. All right. I love that she doesn't know who Woody Harrelson is. How is that possible? Fucking Hunger Games. And she's not that young, right? I mean, Woody Harrelson's been in so many movies, done so many things. She's got to know. Anyway, whatever. She's an idiot. Like I said, she's an idiot. That's what Bill Maher's discovering, too. All right. So, again, I don't know if Bill's okay. He seems to really be phoning this one in. Like, your origin story is Hawk Tua. It's cute. But we must now... Move forward. ...be uh, very circumspect in how... We allow people to, how long we let them play that out. And you got to play a little hardball with this and, you know, be, you know, insist on Haley. And uh, and that's why it's important also to figure out your next step. So that will probably come out just during the course of this conversation. It's, be- it's better if it just happens organically, I find, in my uh, mentoring life. Your mentoring life. I, uh, yes, um, it is what it is, and it's now the next thing. Because there's like so much I would love to what? know about being a 21 year old girl. <laughs> what? I, what? Where are you going with this? What is he doing? I am starting to blush with embarrassment. I know. Here. What is like, he doing? So it starts off. He, he forgot he's on a show. Mm-hmm. He thinks he's her manager or agent or something. She's leading it along. Sure. She yeah. doesn't know what the fuck's going on here. He's, she doesn't know who he is. She's never seen him before. Yeah, but she immediately suspects something. She's like, oh, you're mentoring life. Yes. Okay. Right, yeah. It seems like you can't complete a fucking sentence. Oh, yeah, man. oh, you're going to tell me what to do? <laughs> right. Okay, sure. I don't have... She's already surrounded by people telling her what to do. Yes. Which, by the way, she doesn't know what she's doing. <laughs> well, we'll get into that, too. Fine. She's lost. But Bill thinks it's the first time she's sat down and talked about this with someone. That's how he's acting. Correct. He's also acting like this is a private meeting they're having Mm -hmm. where he's just like, hey, I saw your viral video. I think you have some potential. Why don't we get together? I have some ideas for you. And then you sit down. He's like, I don't have any ideas, but if we start talking, I'll come up with something. Like, You put zero time into this? We're getting together? Let's get together in my basement with booze. Yeah. And we'll figure it out from there. Uh, how much weed could you smoke? All of it? Because that's how much I'm going to give you. <laughs> I don't believe you. See what happens. <laughs> he just really seems to be phoning it in. That whole thing was just like, all right, let's just talk and I'll give you advice and I'll wing it, but we'll figure it out. I'm sure it'll be great. Yeah, I'm sure it'll be great. Now, this is him like actively hitting on Haley here. I mean, first of all, I mean, you know, you're adorable. You're cute. Um, it's just... It's just the way of the world. I mean, you got the world by the balls when you're what? <laughs> okay. <laughs> Awkward. You're young. You're hot. What's that like? Well, it's better than being old and ugly. <laughs> so, <laughs> does that answer your question? It's so weird that he starts out with going, "I want to know what it's like to be a 21 year old girl." 
What do you what do you want to know? Like how many guys I fuck or what? Like that's weird. That's a weird thing to ask. Why don't you ask your girlfriend, Bill? She's probably not much older. You know, like you can probably figure all of this out. Well, slightly in his defense, he, there's not a lot to interview. Right. It's like, uh, how was Nashville? <laughs> Dude, it, literally, they're just like, do you like Taylor Swift? Yeah. Yeah, I do too. <laughs> what the fuck? Can need, I need another drink? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. This seems like a bad first date. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> You're right. Where the, where the girl doesn't realize it's a date. <laughs> Last date with Bill Maher. I, I thought this we were having a meeting about my career. No? Okay. Well, yeah. I'll just get another drink. Yeah. That's that part's fine. over. Yeah. That part is over. <laughs> so Bill's talking about <laughs> when he goes to the South. He goes, I love the South. I love the people in the South. The food's garbage. And he says, I bring my own food when I do shows in the South. And he was like, really? He goes, yeah. I'm only there for a couple days. You know, I do a show. I bring my own food. Because I just don't, I can't eat the garbage that's in the South because there's all these chemicals and things. And he even has this little squirter to squirt, like a little bit of flavor into his seltzer water. Because he's like, I can't drink cola. There's too many chemicals. And he squirts the little thing. So uh, then Haley says um, something about his tequila that he's drinking. Like, well, that's probably pretty good shit. You know, that's that's pretty pure. 818, do you know about that tequila? I do. Is it a high end? Yes. Yeah, I had a feeling. Well, it, it's about in the middle. It's okay. 40, 50, 60 for the oh, uh, okay. Blanco, Repo, and Yeho. Okay. Well, I that's, could go on. That, that's in our fucking... Yeah, that's... Okay. It's it's right in there with everything else. Yeah. All right. So then uh, this is... They have a, a conversation about alcohol that I found infuriating. And maybe it's just because like when you have expertise in something and the people are talking about it, don't know anything about it, like, oh, let me get in there and explain this to you guys. <laughs> but anyway... Coming off the idea that Bill only eats and drinks things that are pure. All liquor is poison. Yeah. Um, what are you drinking? A hot noon. <laughs> what the fuck is that? Okay, hear me out. I don't like seltzers at all. I think they're disgusting, but I actually like these. They're pretty good. They don't taste like sparkling piss. I don't even know what that is. Seltzer. It's just so it's not alcoholic. All right, can I just stop it real quick? Go ahead. First off. She's right. High dudes are amazing. <laughs> they're delicious. Agreed. I, I agree with her on that. And they're not anything like the other hard seltzers that are out there for a number of reasons. Let's find out if she understands why that is since she's enjoying that beverage. Oh, it is. It's oh, got it is. 4.5%. Oh. But it don't taste like piss water. It's 4.5% um, alcohol? Hmm? <laughs> yes. What is he and, looking and for? So it's like a wine cooler? I guess you could say like a watered down wine cooler is what it tastes like. No, no. Like, like this white, one's black cherry. Like white claw? Is that the same? She doesn't know what a wine cooler is. <laughs> it's kind of, you know what I well, mean? Like, yeah. It's way before her time. <laughs> is it like a wine cooler? It's like a white cooler. It's like in that Three Amigos thing where they go into the bar in Mexico and they're like, we'll have three beers. They're like, we don't have any beer, just tequila. They're like, is tequila like beer? He's like, <laughs> It's like beer. <laughs> I was like, yeah, it's like a wine and things cooler. Things go great after that, right? <laughs> sure, yeah. Alcohol? Hmm? And and so it's like a wine cooler? I guess you could say like a watered down wine cooler is what it tastes like. Like, like this one's claw. black cherry. Like white claw? Is that the same kind of thing? Kind of, but I don't like white claws. White claw? White claws. White what? White claw. White claw. White claw. <laughs> white claw. White claw. <laughs> so that's my favorite back and forth in this whole episode. Because to Haley's credit, the plural of White Claw is White Claws. And if you have an accent. It's not like White Claws. Right. He goes, well, it's White Claw, dummy. We're not French. You pronounce the S at the end of that. And I actually had an ice on that because it's my favorite back and forth. White Claws. White Claw? White Claws. White what? White Claw. White Claw. White Claw. <laughs> white Claw. White Claw. <laughs> Can you imagine Bill in a Chinese restaurant just talking louder, thinking that it makes more sense? Oh, no shit. You're right. Yeah, he definitely is uh, kind of goofing on her for being dumb and her accent and everything else. But he's going to help. The whole point of this episode is he is going to help her in show business, which is fantastic. And he's already come up with an idea. Remember, at the beginning, he goes, I don't know what we're going to do, but I'll wing it. We'll figure it out. He does. He does figure it out. You'll be shocked to know it has to do with her 
working for him. <laughs> and what are the chances that that was his first idea? I got it already. No. What you got? You need to do a podcast. You do it right here on Club Random, mm -hmm. if you do it my way. Uh -huh. <laughs> Sex expert. And I'll tell, no, I'll tell you why. Wait, wait, wait. I'll tell you why. Because you need to, when you're, I told you you were given this chip. You were oh, yeah. given the chip of fame. Now you want to trade that in for something that uses that, but takes it to the next level. You have to just, like trade on what you're already known for. That's the one thing you're known for. So you could do a podcast for, like, I don't know if there's anything for, from somebody that age with that point of view, but it couldn't be frivolous. You have to take it seriously. <laughs> what a horrible idea. So she's famous mm -hmm. for talking about spitting on dicks. Is that Dr. Ruth's origin story? <laughs> now she's going to be serious about sex? This is Bill's big idea. Yeah. Like, why, don't you, why don't you do a show on my network, of course? Take that chip of fame that you have, mm -hmm. trade that in for my sexual gratification. <laughs> well, I mean, you're reading between the lines a little bit, but you might be onto something. I don't know. It just seems so odd to me that that's what he thought. When I see this girl, I don't think serious talk show host. No. My, that's, that's like Eddie Murphy doing a fucking album. Right. Yes. And this girl does like to party all the time, party all the time, party all the time. <laughs> that's true. But when I look at this girl, all I think of is... Call her daddy. Okay. Like this is the next Alex Cooper, Fiona with an F. Sure. Sophia with an F, not Fiona. Yeah. Trying to carry a show on nothing. Yeah, just it, it, so his idea is, you know, like Loveline, like Dr. Drew's role on Loveline. All right, let's get rid of the comedic element. Let's not make it entertaining. Just be super serious and talk about sex. It's like, well, I don't know if that's going to go real well. Yeah, so, when you spit on a dick, um, what, <laughs> right, yeah. what type of saliva are we How, what's, what's about? What's the, uh, the mucus to... <laughs> right. Ugh. Is this back the throat saliva? Uh, oh, yeah, that's not good. All right, so she explains that that's probably not a great idea for her. Yes, the sex expert show. <laughs> that's a good start. But again, can't be giggly. You can't just be laughing at, at silly... Old man. Stuff. I definitely would. <laughs> you would? I definitely would. I'm well, not a I'm serious not saying, person. <laughs> I'm not saying you can't uh, enjoy yourself. But, okay, then then we can't do that. Yeah, Bill, what part of everything you've seen about this girl, do you think that she'd be an expert on sex and be serious about it? And good on her. Good on Haley. Yeah, as much of an idiot as she oh. is. She's holding her own yeah. and kind of pushing back a little. Right. She's just like, well, that doesn't make a lot of sense for me. I have like a bubbly personality and I'm fun. And that's why people like me. That's why I'm kind of catching on a little bit. Drinking a black cherry white claw. She's drinking a white claw. <laughs> but she drinks that white claw the entire episode. I don't even know how that's possible. It's not. It's like how many licks to get to the Tootsie Roll Center of <laughs> yeah. a Tootsie Pop. I know. How many sips of a fucking white claw? We are surrounded by beverages right now. <laughs> how we, many know, we know. sips <laughs> could it possibly take? I'm sitting there counting. I was actually... Counting them off like a prisoner <laughs> in a jail cell, just four, five, one, ten. Jesus, how's it possible? There could have been editing. I don't know. Yeah, she probably got more than one. I would imagine that Bill was just like, keep, yeah. keep him coming. He's looking over his producer. Keep him coming. <laughs> All right. So Bill is correcting her grammar at one point, which she's Southern. She says things differently than the... L.A. people and the New York City people, you know, it's flyover country, as these people like to call it. They're not as good as the city folk. And so Bill decides he needs to, to correct her. And what do we know about people correcting someone? People love being corrected. Oh, yeah. They really appreciate it. And Bill explains why he does it. But You get what I'm saying. Is that, is that a joke what towards me? I do get what you're saying. Anytime I correct you, it's only for your benefit. It's because you not, love me, right? It's true. All right. It's it's only because I want you to be better. What an asshole. <laughs> that's a, that, I mean, I like Bill Barr, but he is a prick. We all know that. But that's such a dick thing to say. Listen, the reason why I'm correcting your grammar is because I want you to be better. You know, like me. <laughs> better like I am. What's great about finding this episode is that we see him, for me at least, in front of a, 
a hot young thing for the first time. Mm. It's been Richard Dreyfus, <laughs> yep. <and> Roseanne. <laughs> you know what I mean? Roseanne passed her prime. <laughs> yeah, right. No, <laughs> no longer hot. No right? <laughs> yep, yep. Good point. Good point. So, so we're seeing a new or old Bill. Yeah, kind of both. Yeah. So this is this is how and Bill likes younger girls, as we're about to find out, because Haley's on there. She was raised by her grand her grandmother. Her mom's a crackhead. Her dad wasn't in the picture very much. She was raised by her grandmother. She loves her grandmother. And she decides, Bill's a single guy. Grandma's a single gal. Maybe I can get these two connected. Wait, how old are you? And you're not married? 68, never been. 68, how do you feel about an 80-year-old woman? <laughs> oh, how do you feel about that? If you only knew the first thing about me. <laughs> What's would... the first thing about you? <laughs> well, that I wouldn't be with I'm not going to call you Paul Paul or nothing, but hey, I'm trying to throw something yeah, together. Absolutely. Um, Paul Paul, is that like Tennessee for daddy? No, that's like grandpappy, you know. <laughs> oh, I, see. I might call you grandpappy, but I ain't going to call you Paul Paul. See, I think he would have liked being called daddy. <laughs> he's like, well, yeah. okay, I can go along with that if I know what that means. But then he's like, oh, grandpa? No, I don't like that. Daddy. No, that's like grandpappy, you know? Oh, I see. I might call you grandpappy, but I ain't going to call you Paw Paw. He's like, can we go back so to daddy? Bill. <laughs> she raised you. He immediately changes the subject. That's why uh, I left that part in right there. So he's just like, okay, moving on. Because he goes, you don't know the first thing about me. She goes, oh, well, what is it? He's a single celebrity who fucks nothing but younger, hot girls, Haley. That's the thing about him. She's looking at him just like, oh, look at this elderly man. Maybe he can settle down with my gram grams. <laughs> just like, yeah, that's not. Because th this gets brought up again later in the episode, and she's really trying to make a connection. And I think that's kind of gone around. People have been showing that video quite a bit, so I don't really have that clip for us. But that's the beginning of it, and then it comes back around to it again. So then they're talking music, as I mentioned before. And Bill's going, you don't even know about Elvis and Frank Sinatra and the Beatles, you <laughs> dumb idiot. <laughs> How do you not know about that? All you know about is Taylor Swift, Beyonce. You don't, you don't even get it. And so uh, she brings up someone that she likes that he's never heard of. And she is dumbfounded by this. When you talk about a jaw drop moment, this is it. Okay. You like Keith Whitley? Never heard of him. Put your mouth back. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> You're just going to start another meme. Probably. And they're they're going to they're they're blame, they're gonna put blame it on me. A whole bag of peckers in my mouth. Right. And again, <laughs> we need to move past that, Haley. Yeah. Do we? I mean, I love it. He's just like, let's not put peckers in your mouth. Just one single pecker. <laughs> Mine. <laughs> what, what are we doing? We're not going to put too many in there. Uh, I do want to go back to where it's zoomed in on her. Yeah, that's the shot. That's the shot right there. I think we can have some fun with that in Photoshop. See what's doing. What do you mean? How? Uh, <laughs> I'm actually, my first thought is to turn her 90 degrees to <laughs> the, the white right. Claw. <laughs> 90 degrees to the right. And then uh, you ever make tea? You know how tea is made? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. All right. So <laughs> Keith Whitley apparently is a big deal. Everyone's supposed to know about. Then they start talking about Michael Jackson. Oh. And uh, he says, yeah, you know, uh, it's too bad Michael Jackson was fucking all those kids. You know, his music was pretty good. And uh, she has this saying I've never heard before. Well, you heard about that. Yeah. Uh, yeah. What do you think? After a while, pedophile. After a while, pedophile? Is that a yeah. saying? He's a creeper, wasn't he? Yes. Well, I mean, you know, do we have... But then again, he's like one of the only ones that got caught doing it, kind of like R. Kelly. Well, I mean, I don't know how many people have, like, sex dungeons and keep women hostages like R. Kelly. I don't think there's a ton of that. Maybe there are. But what is the after-a-while pedophile? Yeah, I don't know about that one. Did she just make that up, or is that a thing? It's like... See you in a while, crocodile. Fun. <laughs> See you soon. Uh, after a while, pedophile. Like, oh, what does that mean? That's awful. Why? What are you talking about? Maybe if you go without sex long enough, you become Michael Jackson. Oh, after after a while. Pe Holy shit, I didn't even think of that. I actually thought it meant you'll get caught eventually, which Michael actually 
kind of didn't. I mean, he had to pay a lot of money, but he never spent any time. In <laughs> he found prison. a way out. <laughs> yeah, he did, he did find a way out. His doctor did for him, which was nice. But uh, yeah, that's a good point. After a while, so it's a kids are like a slump buster now. Is that your thought on this? <laughs> what? Did you hear about Bill? He was found with a 12-year-old girl. Well, it's been a while for Bill. It sure has been a while. <laughs> slut busters. <laughs> slump buster, I said. That's oh, okay. slut buster. Well, I'll bust sluts. You know, I brought this up when I was on with Chrissy and Keanu. Mm-hmm. I talked about a sl- I, We were looking at different women in, you know, the streets of Manchester, England. And, uh, so, you know, varying degrees of attractiveness. And I go, well, that one's a slump buster. Mm-hmm. And they were not familiar with that terminology. Are you familiar with that terminology? Am I, I am now. Up? Oh, you didn't know that either? No. Huh. Why are you looking at Brits? Oh, that's that their show format. I was a guest on their show. Oh. It was very odd. I thought it was a teeth thing. Okay. I'm just saying. Motherfucker, don't deflect from the fact you don't know what a slump buster is. <laughs> Did you say slump buster again? Slump buster. <laughs> slump. You, you're hearing what you want to hear. I do. All right, so then at this point, this is the craziest part because Bill's trying to give her advice on what she could do. Well, not really. He had that one idea, and she was just like, that's stupid. (laughs) Right. But then there's a question about um, doing TV, potentially, and uh, she's all over the place with us. Want to be in what TV? What did you think about? Some kind of TV career. Bill, you okay? Dude. Holy shit. Are you all right, man? I've seen Nick Ricada streams uh, where the guy wasn't as fucked up as this. <laughs> What's going on here? Want to be in what TV? What did you think about some kind of TV career? Yeah, yeah I possibly could. I mean, already that's insane. What do you think about TV? Is that an industry? Like, what, what do you want me to do? Oh, it would have been great if she said, I've never heard of that. Yeah, mount, hey, well, should I mount the TVs? Like, what, what do you, a TV salesperson? Like, Best Buy? What do you mean, that TV? Mounting Pass could mount. be involved. <laughs> yes, mounting for sure. Spinning. <laughs> I got some acting classes. Acting? Maybe. <laughs> He's shocked. Oh, yeah. well, this is a twist in the plot. Maybe. You're the one who brought up TV, Bill. Like, what do you want her to be, the a news anchor? What are we talking about? TV's Will Heron? The next TV's Will Heron? You want to take Will Heron's job, Bill? This is a twist in the plot. Maybe. I said maybe. I don't know. I'm keeping my options open. I could do it, possibly. You know, you have to be very dedicated. Maybe not acting. Maybe like reality <laughs> TV or something. Scared this like means she's all over the place. Whoever's talking to her and guiding her is doing a shit job. Wow. What's she going to do with herself? She has no idea. I'll take anti glasses. Well, you know, it's a lot of work. You got to go on auditions. Yeah, never mind. Yeah, I'm not going to do that. <laughs> In her defense, he had her on as a guest. Yeah, so no, she's I know. got nothing going on. You had someone who's got nothing going on as your guest, and you don't even know how to talk to her. And I think he's still reeling from the fact that she's not impressed with him. Right. There is something to that. In fact, my next clip plays into that perfectly first let me just say that uh, christian blatt says chris has never had a slump to bust you might be right about that it's probably why he doesn't not familiar with that term slump buster Hmm. must be nice (laughs) all right so they're talking about jay-z because she she's like i like some some hip-hop like the older stuff and so bill says you know i've actually had jay-z on my show before jay-z's been on here no, my other show, oh. my, my TV show. I know you know what you don't know what Daddy does for a living, <laughs> but uh, I'm a uh, I'm a prof- I watched a little bit. While I'm ago. a professor at uh, MIT. Are you really? No, that's what Howard Stern used to say. He used to say, "I tell my kids I'm a professor." I'm a professor. <laughs> that was really so funny. You could be a professor. I could be a professor. You I'm look a professor. Sophisticated. Of, I'm a professor of show business. Yeah. And and I think you're smart enough to like absorb what I'm telling you, but I'm telling you, this is a great opportunity for you to, you should listen to me because this is such a crucial moment for you. You're at a crossroads of your life. You've been given this chip. Remember we discussed Mm -hmm. the chip 
Now, it's like a lottery. It's like a winning lottery ticket. You could throw it in the garbage, or you could just lose it, or you could parlay it into something bigger, am amazing. It's not how lottery tickets work at all. <laughs> no. You don't walk in with your winning lottery ticket and say, I'd like to parlay this into something bigger. <laughs> like, <laughs> we'll just give you the money that we owe you. Is that cool? Sure, we'll take that. <laughs> yeah, and right. It's uh, gone. Sorry, it's gone. <laughs> yeah. You, know, you want to double down on your winning lottery ticket? Okay. <laughs> here, here are your new numbers. Good luck. Bill thinks that she went from the Nashville video to his basement and nothing happened yeah. in between and that she's never dealt with a horny old fuck before. Yeah. Keeping in mind, she's a hillbilly. This has to happen. Con I mean, even if she wasn't anywhere, right. she would be. Yes. Yeah. I just I find that so fascinating that he's just like, you know, I have a TV show. She's like, yeah, I don't, I don't watch Max or HBO or whatever the fuck you're on. I don't know about I'm also not interested in politics or whatever the fuck you're talking about. And he just keeps explaining how to make it in show business when he has no idea. It's like when Howard Stern would talk about podcasters and he'd go on and go, that's not the way you do it. You got to get a job in Hartford, you know, and work the afternoon drive. And, th and then maybe you move up to like a top 50 market AM or, uh, you know, AM drive. And then you start to, it's like, no, 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 no. Yeah. none of this exists anymore. Joe Rogan just started recording out of his basement. And then next thing you know, $250 million contract with Spotify. Another Howard comparison. When he talks about therapy, mm. it's like, well, you must be like this or this. Mm -hmm. This girl's having fun. Just happy to be on another show. Maybe she's not happy, but she's a good actress yeah. in that regard. Sure. Uh, maybe she doesn't have aspirations. She's just going through this whirlwind. Well, okay, that's why I have to tell you that okay. as soon as she that viral went, or that video went viral, she quit her job, got a management team, and started making the rounds. Okay, I, <laughs> I did see an in between yeah. episode. Uh, I think that we showed here, or it may have been on socials, but yeah. Yeah, so I get confused. Yeah, so she definitely she's not just sitting there going like, "Oh, it's just a video. That's just little old me, whatever." Can I give her advice? Haley, are you watching my show right now? Call me. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> um, my advice is, she has a cute personality. Maybe she could do a sexy time podcast show that would get like mostly young girls listening, but some guys too, obviously. Like well, could call her daddy. Talk about getting blasted in the face or, you know, a guy putting in your poop shoot, mm -hmm. stuff like that. I think you could do something with that. If you don't want to do that, OnlyFans is really the best play for her. And I'll explain. OnlyFans is a wide range of things you can do. Wide. <laughs> See, producer Chris, your head is in the gutter. You're not. You're not. <laughs> taking no, I'm putting... in broad. I mean, uh, <laughs> I'm in game. Please, please continue. <laughs> It runs the gams bit. <laughs> so you don't have to get fully naked. You don't have to shove things in your vagina. Not at first. You don't have to. <laughs> Not at first. You start off, you have some sexy lingerie, bikini, underwear, whatever. You string guys along for as long as possible. As long as possible. When that starts to dry up, maybe you show a nipple or two. <laughs> a couple months after that, there's a butthole. This is this is my <laughs> <Or> point. <two>. <laughs> <laughs> Both of my buttholes. I set up for that. My point is that I think that she could parlay this into a career, just not on a sitcom yeah. <laughs> or anchoring the evening news. Like, let's get realistic about this. Who are these podcasts? W -A